What's up, Bassett Babes? It's your girl, Joy, and Sydney. <laughs> it is early. We are out. Today is a very special day. What's today, Sydney? Bobby's birthday. Yes. And so, Bobby will not be on camera today at all. No matter what I say, no matter what I do, no matter how much I beg, she will not appear today. Maybe tomorrow, because today I'll be braiding Bobby's hair. It's her birthday, so I'm not allowed to get an attitude. <laughs> it's gonna take up my entire day. Well, now I'm gonna be taking a break because I'm supposed to go somewhere. So, I can't get an attitude because y'all know how I feel about the hair. Then I need to do my own hair. So, oh my gosh, so it's like my break is hair. It's a hair break because I'm out of school for a whole week. Hold up, hold up sis, how you doing? How are you doing? So I hope you're doing well. So Cindy came to my room. I think I've been awake since 5.30. But I went to bed early. I've been going to bed early, child. Not that I want to. My body has been shutting down. Pepe, lay your tail down. You will get some sleep and you will not fight with me. Because I am just going to say, whoop. You're going to close your eyes and you're going to be out. That's when your body takes over and you have no control over what happens. You be like, oh, I'm going to just rest my eyes for a minute. Mm -mm, I'm going to rest my I'm going to get back up. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. Let me tell you, X, Y, and Z is going to have an attitude with you because that sleep will kick in and you didn't even plan it. That's how the body works. When it's time for you to shut it down, shut, shut, shut it down, your body will say, boop, boop. In the name of Jesus, you are out. <laughs> right, Cindy? And let me tell you, that's when you have to listen to those cues that your body is giving you. Because when you ignore those cues, that's when the stuff happens. You get sick, or you just crash, or whatever it is your body's going to do. But it'll let you know you needed that break. So then Sydney um, comes into my room, sends me a text or whatever. Hey, do you think we should go out and get Bobby a kolaji? It wasn't that she wanted to get the kolaji for Bobby. Yes, it was. I she wa she wants the kolaji. I can't even eat that. That wasn't about me. You sure? Okay. Oh, she wants Taco Bell. Sydney has made a New Year's resolution that she will <clears throat> not eat dairy. <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta give me a cup of coffee and I'll make Bobby um, some of that Vietnamese coffee, what she likes. So I'm gonna go home and probably run because I know I won't do it later. So I'll do like 25 minutes or so, get it in, run and then make coffee and then settle settle in to do her hair so we're gonna get her some balloons i'll get her two little balloons get her some little breakfast treats pick up some candy because she likes a little candy she likes what skittles right Sydney? and I t i've been telling her all week oh i need me some shades child i've been telling bobby all week to go and order those shoes, those white shoes that Sydney is running into the bank. And then I had a couple of cheat treats this week, so I'm definitely gonna run that off because I was at school. I forgot that I was gonna be at school from, you know, morning to 9.30 at night. So I, you know, I got just, I got me a little junior bacon cheeseburger and fries. It was good. I ate the whole thing too, all gone. And then I think the day before that, I had a Whopper with <laughs> cheese. Ate it all gone. I was hungry. I don't think I don't think I had lunch or something or breakfast, something I didn't have, and I was just starving. So it was probably the only meal I had that day. So I'm, I'm really not that hard on myself because, like I said. 
things in moderation. They, I'm okay with things in moderation. It's not something I do on a daily basis. I just think it just hit me and I was just like, oh, I want me a burger. And I told somebody, I said, oh, I want to cry. I just want a burger. Sometimes, you know, you eat so healthy, healthy. You just want something that's just going to, oh, just eat me. You know, just, oh, get it in. Get it in. Enjoy it. Yes. That's how I was. I wanted my burger, sis, and I got my burger, okay? And I'm not going to feel bad about it. But I'll get on the treadmill a little bit. Work that heart out a little something, something. <laughs> work that guilt away. <laughs> so, that is what my day is going to consist of. So, Bobby will not. She is weird about her hair. Even from a little girl. When I would put, like, little braids in her hair. Just her own hair. I used to braid the girl's hair. And to take her hair out and shampoo it and start the process, she would freak out. Like to have it just air dry out? No way. She wouldn't. She would cry. I would have to put it back into a ponytail. It's something about her hair. She just can't have it out. Bam! She won't do it. She, from a little girl, like two years old, I could not do it. Mm-mm. She would not allow her hair just to be out. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. And to this day, she's still the same way. So, like, to wear her, her natural hair and just have it out, plait it down. And plus, we did a big chop on her. And so, her hair has grown quite long. Her hair is probably close to Sydney's length. And I've been trying to convince Sydney to put the braids back in her hair because now she's doing that flat iron she's learning how to do it by herself now and i see a shift in her hair and breakage but i realized with teens some some teens you can't tell them nothing you can't tell them anything and that's how bobby was when she was transitioning and she was flat ironing and wanting it straight down i'm like bobby your hair is breaking please Let's put it back in braids. No, no. And then it would be, sh she gets upset. Well, she was like, Ma, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I didn't listen to you. I was like, you were being a teenager. That's what you were doing. You had the teenager disease. <laughs> Not listening, thinking you know everything and have all the answers. So now that's where Sydney is. So she said, maybe for the summer. But her hair needs a break. Sydney's hair thrives in braids. It thrives in braids, but... She doesn't want braids. I mean, it is what it is. Um, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink it, y'all. So go ahead and do you, Sydney. Look, I'll be there to catch you when you fall. Mama will be there to braid it up for you when you're ready. Mama will be there to braid it up when you come to your senses. And when you think Mama knows a little more than you do. Okay? Then you come to me. I'll be there. That's, that's what I'm there for. And like I said before, I don't got my face on. So this is what you're getting today, okay? I'm not talking about Clinton. I want to, but I'm not talking about Clinton. It's not good. Do you, I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to admit it. I'm going to admit it. I'm just going to tell you like it is. I have not vlogged all week. I just haven't. I vlogged several. I did several vlogs, I think, last weekend. So that kind of bought me a little time. I have not put anything on my food channel. I get home from work and I have been going to bed. That 4.30, one day I was up at 3. I woke up at 3 because as soon as I got home from school, which was around 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock, I went straight to sleep. I have not made it to the gym. I haven't done it, but I do get up and run every morning. I don't skip that. I may have to rush it a little bit, but I don't skip that. <laughs> but, you know, I, 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 I haven't been able to tone. I'm like a little big flabby, skinny, flabby bag of bones. That's what I am. Flabby bones. <sighs> Sis, I'm trying. I'm going to have to get me some weight. <laughs> Child, I know I'm running my mouth, but cal calm down. So I, I did go when I had to do something after school. I think I had to do something after school twice. I had to do something after school. And I had to stay at school. So with the time I had in between, I went down to the gym by my job. I had to register because I got me a two-year membership. I finally went. 
and honey i got the tour and they have a sauna and a steam room i was like what's the difference between a sauna and a steam room one has dry heat one is that it's whatever right and she opened the door honey i was like sis i don't think i'll be getting in one of those <laughs> there was a man sitting there a little old man <laughs> he looked kind of creepy i was like and the space was kind of small i was like I already feel uncomfortable. I am fully clothed. And I don't even, he made me feel uncomfortable. So imagine you going with, you know, with your little workout gear, or whatever. It, it was just too close. I like, I need personal space. That creeped me out. He was like, I don't know, thank you. I don't need nobody sauna that bad. Mm, it just did. Mm -mm. And I wonder, I don't know anything about it. I haven't done any research, but I wonder how many germs is in that thing. How often do they clean that thing? So it freaked me out. And then they have a full gym. They only have one room for their classes. Their Zumba, their spin class. Oh, shoot. I didn't... Nope, that's okay. I was like, I didn't make it to my spin class this morning. Totally forgot, Sydney. But that's all right, because I'll be going all week. So I'll get, I'll catch my morning classes. So I did the tour of the gym, 24 hour fitness. And the only thing I don't like is that they don't have a women's room. Everything is out in the open. And I don't know, I just feel comfortable in the women's room, <laughs> not, you know, with the general population. Do not have one of these for it? No, at this gym they do fingerprint. So it's, fin it's all done by fingerprint. Sir, can you work out the one over here? Yes, she said I could go to any gym and bring a guest. That's the membership I have. And I can bring oh a guest. Gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Like any, you can bring a guest every time you go? I think so. <gasps> Mom. Yeah. <laughs> 